Today I'm going to work on building the pod for my ESC. This is where I'm planning on mounting the ESC. A couple things I need to think about before I build a buck for this though, so I can figure out how big it needs to be. One thing is there's a USB port here on the side of the VESC, and I like to use that to be able to check my voltage or program it, do those kinds of things. Since it's going to be completely covered, I picked up this mini USB extension. It's got a waterproof cap on it. So I plan on mounting that on the side somewhere that I can get access to it. I also got an anti-spark switch and I want to mount this switch on the side somewhere as well. So the thing I got to think about here is how tall these are, what the diameter is, so I can make the side of the box tall enough that I can drill holes and mount them into there. The ESC is actually a little bit shorter. Actually, it's about close to the same height. The switch is a little bigger in diameter than the USB port. You take this ring off and then the cap and there's a gasket there. So I need to drill a hole this diameter for the USB and then a little bit bigger for the switch. This is a nice time to have a dial caliper. You can easily measure things to figure out what size holes we need to drill. So this is 19 and a half millimeters, 49 64ths. Sometimes I'll just move it a little bit bigger, see what the next size drill bit I have is. So this is a case 13 16 I'm not sure, might have one of those. And this one is 5 eighths of an inch, 15.7 millimeters. So I'll keep that in mind when I'm shaping the buck. And the plan is to probably put these somewhere like that. I'm just get my pencil here. I'll give myself a little extra space there. And I'm planning on running the wires in along the side here. And I might shorten these up and loop them around or something. I want to give them enough slack that when the motor is moving around, they have enough space to move. I think that'll give me plenty of space over here. That might be a little bit close. Maybe it's a little bigger and then I can always make a smaller one later if I need to. I'll probably keep this end straight across all the way. And then I need space here. This is where these two, this is where these will mount. So I need to keep space there. And then this is going to run in here. I need space to run these wires around. I'll probably leave these corners close to square. I'm also planning on mounting the anti-spark in here. I also need space to mount a receiver in here. I'm planning on doing something different here in the future and um, need a little bit of space to possibly have an Arduino in here and some other things. So I'm going to keep that in mind as well. So I might actually make this box a little bigger than I was originally expecting just to make sure I have plenty of room for any future mods. So that's where we'll start. Just a rough layout like this. I'll start getting some wood out, cutting up some blocks, and then gluing them together to start getting a good shape for this. And then we'll trim it down, sand it, and then make a buck similar to this one like I made in my other video. You can go look. I'll put a link up in the top. So that's the plan. Let's get going. Well, that's really close. This is a two by four, two inches by four inches. 
which is actually not two inches by four inches. It's an inch and a half thick by three and a half inches wide. Fun lumber sizes. So this is just a little bit narrower than the marks I made. Not very much. Maybe about the width of this pencil or so. So it might be a little bit tight, but it'll be really easy just to cut the thing out of this one piece of wood. So if I can quickly make this buck and not have to spend a lot of time doing it, I think it'll be worth it. So let's see what we can do here. I'm just gonna take this two by four, just a scrap. I've used it for drilling into and some various things. I'm gonna cut it down to the length that I marked here. Now I've got these blocks cut out and I'm ready to glue it together. I'm going to try something different this time and just put some hot glue on here. Now I'm just going to try to fill these cracks up to the top, smooth it out a little bit. I'm going to reuse this channel for the other part, run the wires through it. I'm just going to line it right up where the wires are coming out of the battery box. A little bit more glue in here to top these off. I cut down a wooden paint stick. I'm going to glue it here and then I can shape it into a channel where these wires will run through to get into the ESC. Now I can take this to the sander. See how that works out.
Now the buck is glued down to the deck. I took off the rear trucks. I mounted the press. I'm going to put the Kydex in the oven. It's super hot. It's cooled down now, so I'm going to open it up. The top looks good, but it needs to be tightened up around the sides. I'm going to mark this roughly so I can cut it down. Got a little too much material here. I'm going to mark and drill for hardware. All right, that should probably work. I'm just going to trim this up and then sand it, and then I need to drill and put the mounting hardware in.
Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button to get notified of my new videos. Leave a comment below if you got any ideas, other things I should make videos on. I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon. I'll post a video with the information. See you later.